Hello friends, this video on exponents and powers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have understood what exactly are exponents, let us look at the laws of exponents. Now there are some very interesting laws of exponents. So in general we can say that if you have two integers a and b, then a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n gives a to the power m plus n. Similarly, a to the power m divided by a to the power n gives a to the power m minus n. a to the power m to the power n gives a to the power m n. And in this fashion, you have some very interesting laws for exponents. So when you look at these on this screen, it might seem very complex and tough. But as we discuss each of these in detail, you will see that they are extremely simple. Now, when you look at the first two laws, so did you notice something that in the first two laws, the base remains the same. That means the two numbers which are getting multiplied, both the numbers have the same base. So A is the base. So here in these cases, we see that both numbers which are getting multiplied, they have same base A, but they have different exponents that is the powers are different so the exponents are different which is m and n so in these two cases so these two first two scenarios deal with powers of same base when you look at the second the third scenario he it it deals with power to the power that means you have a to the power m and to this power also you are adding another power so a to the power m whole to the power n so that is power to the power so that that is what is dealt in the third case. When you look at the fourth and the fifth case, what do you see? You see that here the bases are different. So here we deal with different bases. So what are the different bases? One base is A, the other base is B. But when you look at the exponents, so both the numbers have the same exponents. So here different bases but same exponent. So the same exponent is M. Now, these are the three different categories that we will look at. That is, how, how to handle same base different exponents numbers, how to handle different base same exponent numbers, and how to handle power to the power of a number. And the last one, which is the most important one, that any number to the power 0 is always equal to 1. Now, can you tell me why? That's because you, you think of any integer that comes to your mind. You think of minus 1. Minus 1 to the power 0. What does that mean? That means that minus 1 is getting multiplied for a 0 number of times. That means minus 1 is not at all getting multiplied. So if minus 1 is not at all getting multiplied, so what will be your result? Nothing is happening actually. So the result would be 0. But instead of 0, if it would have been minus 1 to the power 1, that means minus 1 is getting multiplied for 1 time. So the result would be minus 1. When minus 1 to the power 2, that means minus 1 is getting multiplied for 2 times. So the product would be 1. So and this relation holds true for any integer, whether it is a positive integer, negative integer or anything. Anything to the power 0 is always equal to 1. So that's a very basic law and a very important one as well. So now let us first deal with the first category that is powers of the same base. So let us look at both the multiplication and division scenario for two numbers with same base but different powers. So as per the rule we saw that when you multiply two numbers such that they have the same base A but different powers. In that case the product is such that you have still the same base but the powers get added. So th that's what we see as per the law. Now we have to prove this. Now, now let's see that whether this is true or not. So in order to understand whether this relationship holds true or not, let us take an example. So let us take this example. 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 2. So in this case we have the same base that is 2 but we have different powers that is 3 and 2. So 2 to the power 3, what does it mean? It means 2 multiplied 3 times. So 2 into 2 into 2. And 2 to the power 2 means 2 multiplied 2 times. So 2 to the 4 to the 8. This is 8 and 2 to the 4. So therefore the value is 32. 
Now, how can you write 32? If I ask you to write 32 in exponential form, so how will you write it? Because here also the product is in the exponential form. So in order to write it in exponential form, we have to do its prime factorization. So 2 divides 32 completely. So 2 16s are 32. Then 2 8s are 16. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. Therefore, 32 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 because 2 here is getting repeated for 5 times. So that means this can be written as 2 to the power 5. So the product of 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 2 is equal to 2 to the power 5. Now this can be very well written as 2 to the power 3 plus 2 because 5 is nothing but 3 plus 2. So what does this show? This shows that the product is a to the power m plus n because in this case a was 2 that is the base and the power was m plus n that is 3 plus 2 that means this relation holds true. Now a very simple way to remember this uh, relationship is whenever you have same base so the product will also have the same base because in this case both the numbers have the base as a so the product uh, the final product will also have the same base that is a so the only confusion you have is with the power so whether the power would be m or n in the result so what you do since it is multiplication so you just add the powers so you see you look at the multiplication sign when you rotate it like this you get a plus sign so whenever you are multiplying two such powers with same base then in the result the powers get added up now what happens in case of division just the opposite so when you divide two numbers you basically subtract the power so instead of adding them you subtract them so let us see this as well so we will make use of the same numbers 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 2 so 2 to the power 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 divided by 2 into 2 so this is 8 divided by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 8 by 4. Now 4 to the 8. So this is 2. So 2 is nothing but 2 to the power 1. And 1 can be written as 3 minus 2. So therefore 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 2 can be written as 2 to the power 3 minus 2. So in this fashion we see that whenever we have two numbers with same base but different exponents. If we are multiplying those two numbers then the exponents get added. If we are dividing the two numbers then the exponents get subtracted. So that, that's how we covered our first Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.